Hey YouTube, thanks for stopping back. So today I'm going to overview uh, Enzo knives from Finland. And this here is the model. And it's a Burke 75. Alright, so as I said, um, I'm not really a review guy, so I'm just going to kind of give you my first impressions of the knife. Having it and carrying it for a few days. <clears throat> so let's get into it. go carbon fiber let's just sit this here for a second so what I want to do for guys that don't have one of these and you want a general idea of what it looks like or a size comparison so first there it is up against one US dollar I'll also compare it to a famed YouTube knife, Paramilitary 2, and another favorite on YouTube, the Boker Quaking Flipper. All right. So, in comparison to those, uh, it's a pretty small knife. But, right, so a little bit on the specs. The blade is four and an eighth inch closed. It has a two and seven eighth inch satin D2 blade, dual thumb studs, carbon fiber handles. It has a lanyard hole and a stainless steel pocket clip, which is deep carry. So now that's out of the way. Uh, my first impressions, uh, this is fantastic. It's really smooth. opens like a dream and as you'll know when you start following my channel a little more I'm not super good deploying via thumb studs but I don't mind this at all it just flies out Let's see here. You can see the standoffs stainless steel liners In the liner lock, pretty early lockup. The deep carry pocket clip. It's cool. I don't mind a deep carry clip, but I also don't mind a clip that uh, has a little butt of the knife hanging out, so not so deep. Um, but I will say that I'm a huge fan of carbon fiber. So for the blade, again, D2 blade steel, satin finish. It does have a Scandi grind. Uh, I caught this by way of uh, a Bushcrafters video, and they actually said this is uh, a really good pocket carry for a Bushcrafter. I just think it's a pretty cool carry for anybody, actually. So yeah, um, I'll keep this short and sweet. The Enzo Burke 75 carbon fiber D2. They do have it in S30V and it would be a full flat grind. Um, but for right around a hundred bucks, maybe a little less, I'd definitely buy this. Well, I did, but I'd recommend anybody into this knife. That about wraps this first impression up. Again, if you were interested, I'd definitely buy this. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. You guys have a great day and see you on the next one.